bees are all swimming around. And they'll all each, come back, right? Each cage has a queen in it. And this is candy on one end. That's okay, it didn't. Hello. Pass them around, look at them. They're 15 bucks a piece. They're 16 bucks a piece for that little bug. 16 for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that bee. Just one of them. <laughs> and then they'll eat their way through the candy, and by then hopefully they'll they'll have accepted her. Okay. These queens all come from Hawaii. We're just in the regular mail from a company called Kona Queen. There's, if you look on the surface of the swarm, there are lots of bees doing recruitment dances. Like this one here, telling other bees, she's been out, found some place she thinks is make a good future home. She comes back and tells the others, and other bees find other places, and then um, sort of through a process of debate, they... One thing that's really important, you guys, you need to know when you get to a swarm, this swarm could be vicious if it had comb in it already, and it was laying eggs. Um, or sometimes if they're just hungry. Um, <laughs> so usually you can do all kinds of stuff with the swarm and shake it around and nothing happens, but every once in a while you'll have a swarm and they'll sting the hell out of you. So, so there's no way to really know if there's calm and brood in here. So if somebody calls you and says, I got a swarm. Okay, you want to just shake that, trip the whole swarm onto that block? Oh, I would. Just bang it one time. <laughs> I lost the queen. It's going to be here on top. It's in the cage. <laughs> it's in the cage. So you'll see that once they will go into those frames. Sometimes what people do is they, um, they'll take a few of these frames out so that they go down easier. They'll get all set. So they'll just accept the... Watch how they just filter down into the box. If the queen, if the queen gets in there, then they'll pull that home. And they'll all, you, pretty soon you're going to see a lot of Nazanoff thing going on. Remember I showed you the Nazanoff pheromone? Yeah. It's a lot right here. A lot of them. This is one of the Yeah. Yeah. Try not to try to mash as few colors of these as possible. One of the things that, that you're always kind of wary on a little bit is that, let's grab this onto the flat area down there because we know we have the queen. If you don't have the queen and you shake them all in, they can often, I'm just going to leave this offset. They'll, they'll fly back and you won't hive the swarm, you'll come back the next day and the swarm will be up there. I gotta get the queen in the box. Usually it's hanging from a branch and just like the shape of a basketball or a big football. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't he, he likes these two gallon feeders and I think they're uh, I think they're too tight. Yeah. <laughs> they are tight. And but it's easier just to pull them out and, and then you can do whatever you want. Yeah. There you go. I use gallon and a half, just not because they hold I'd rather have two gallons. It's the size that it fits, you know, you can mm -hmm. still get eight frames in them. And the outside two frames are typically typically honey this storage. One, this one's virtually 100% honey. Is it? Yeah. That one, they couldn't yeah. draw it out very far because it was right against it's right the, against tight against against the feeder, But this one they drew out really far, got and, it full of capped honey. Yeah, and they fattened it up because there was a frame of foundation right next to it, which isn't good. But which is or isn't is not because they made this frame so fat that the next one. Now, if you try to put it into one that doesn't, you know, see how this one has kind of a space or that fatness? Mm -hmm. If I tried, if I turn this one around, it would crush up against the honey. Did you show them, like, turn yeah. it over? See this, this bee right here, the pollen on the bees? Yeah. Okay, I, I don't know. And this is kind of a start of a queen cell right here. Yeah, we saw actually okay. developing queen cells Good. in the first one. Okay. So this super pretty full of honey. Yeah, it's yeah. too heavy. <laughs> So if we found the queen, yeah, yeah, he'll show it to you. Would we just put it back in? Or yeah. Or? Okay. So the, what we have here is mostly drone brood. These bigger, taller cells are drone brood, and the, the worker brood is right around here. See, here's a capped 
worker brood, compare it with these big domed drone broods. So the drone cells are bigger both in diameter and they're longer by the time they put that cap dome on it. But we'll go ahead and move this one up. So I look at it briefly just to see what whether I... Beetles? Like no, no. Where, uh, well, this one looks like... Do they normally intermix like the, like the, the drones and the workers? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. The, the, they like to build drone comb. You know, they, there's a certain proportion that they prefer of drone comb. And as beekeepers, we try to keep them from building that much. So any yeah. place that they're kind of building freeform. It's probably a Minnesota hygienic queen, I, I guess. I'm not sure, but it, they, they're showing a lot of darker drones. And Gilly was saying that the drones also have the really large eyes on them. Yes, yeah. they do. To the others. Yep. And you can see the A. So usually when I'm handling frames, what I, I, I pick yeah. them up out of the hive like this, put a finger under there, flip them toward me like this, yeah. take a look at what I want to look at. By the way, notice that this drone is, very, is extraordinarily light. Yeah, the drones are more good. variable than the workers generally because they're haploid instead of diploid. So they get kind of all of, you know, the light colors or all the dark colors in the mix. Um, anyway, so, you know, I'll look at it this way and then look at it that way. And I don't see the queen, but here we have... I'm not, I'm not really doing anything to it yet. So, check that out. Let's make sure the queen. Put them in there. Does the queen typically do they stick to the the comb? Is that what it is? Or the, do the queens typically stay on there? Um, you know, my major professor Roger Moore said that you shake a frame and often the only last bee okay. standing would be the queen. So she can she can sometimes hold on Twist better than sideways. the other bees, but sideways. usually she'll not she'll fall That's off right. the rest That's of the right. right. One more frame of foundation right there. Uh, here's some ones Okay. Well, it's because I, I melt down. Um, no, I want. Do you want the gloves? Oh, you want gloves? Fine. That you guys, they are the bees are very nice, and and this is the perfect day to be coming and doing this. And yeah, I see. I see. See, see we've shook those bees, and yeah. then you see how many bees get on a frame. Yeah, they come right back. I mean. What do you want the knees? The feeder. Leaning anything. against. Hand me that feeder. Right there. Too many bees in here. That's why Sometimes you, you spin it like this. I, I like to look at one side. Hey, Kurt. Come explain what's going on here. Well, this one, you can see the queen who was inside chews around, gets the cap off, like you see here. Actually, the bees have kind of begun to glue that one back on. This one still has a queen inside, although sometimes they'll get closed again. And Come there's nothing inside. The um, but you can see that the, the bees, just before emergence, often chew away some of the wax down. You can see how this one's down to the cocoon. Um, that virgin that you saw in here would normally have gone around, found these, chewed a hole in the sides, and if they're very close to emergence, she'll sting the, queen, the developing queen within them. Got a pipe um, She's going to run out of there. So you can see this queen. Look, she's gonna, she's gonna walk out. Watch. Where'd she go? Is there a queen in there? Should be because I just pulled the cap off. No. But you see this one's still a fairly white pupa, so it's got a ways to go. That one's merged. This one. No larva. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, wow. She's coming out. Oh, oh wow. wow. And he's born. It's a girl. A queen. Oh, time to be a boss. It's a time to be a boss. First, she's got to kill her rivals. Do it. And if there's, there's another one, see how they're, they're not scleroterized yet? It's mm -hmm. not, still hasn't hardened off. Queen excluder. A little Okay. Shake her hand as well. Do you have a preferred way of putting the queen excluders in there? Gilly likes them this way. I like them the other way. You put the he puts down. the bars up. I put the bars down. I put the bars down, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take that box, put it on here.